Welcome to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division One sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our Coca-Cola player of the game. Enjoy the Coke side of life. Here's Coach Fran O'Hanlon along with our player of the game, Dan Trist. All right, Gary, thanks a lot. Head coach Fran O'Hanlon, let's talk a little bit about traction. It almost seemed like having a scoring run in this contest against probably the best defensive team in the Patriot League was almost impossible today. Yeah, they did a great job. And we had some open looks, uh, Dan, but, you know, they sped us up and maybe maybe the shots weren't as open as I thought, you know. Uh, but you got to give them a lot of credit. They, they came out with a big rebound, a big shot when they needed to. Uh, you know, Kempton hits a three. I mean, it's they're, they're a handful. Absolutely. You know, at the start of the game, you mentioned Kempton being really challenging. It's tough to game plan against him. The guy standing to my left, Ann Trist, did a pretty admirable job, along with some help from his friends. Yeah, he did. I mean, uh, it was once again, it comes down. It's a, a one-two possession game. Uh, it's a, kind of the Patriot League this year. Absolutely. And um, and they did. They got what they needed, and we didn't get what we needed at the time. Kempton and Trist was one matchup of interest. Ross and Lindner was another one. And uh, to his credit, Nick Lindner really kept the team in a close contest through, down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, they're two very good point guards, you know. And uh, the league has a lot of good point guards, and uh, there are two of them. And, um, you know, and they're both young. So they're going to be uh, having some battles for the next couple of years. Leopards back on the road and Hamilton, New York against Colgate and then down in Annapolis against Navy. We wish you good luck in those two contests as the second half of the season is right around the corner. Thanks. All right, thanks. Fran O'Hanlon, the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. Let's bring in our player of the game, senior economics major from Sydney, Australia, Dan Trist. Dan, let's talk a little bit about, you know, it was Trist and uh, Kempton, the big matchup. They had a few more players up there in the box that were kind of challenging and you, you kept a pretty good radar screen on all of them. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we didn't get it done. Uh, we didn't keep them out of the paint, and we didn't keep them off the glass. So, you know, those are two of the focuses uh, for the game, and you know, we seem to do a good job with that. But, you know, they're a good team. Give them credit. They, uh, they played us tough, and they switched a lot of screens, and they did a good job with us. He drew quite a few fouls, which uh, was a credit, and that, that's, you know, one way to kind of keep scratching and clawing, and that's exactly what Lafayette did today. Your numbers, pretty excellent. 20 points today on six field goals. Excellent from the free throw line, getting there nine times and planting eight of those free throws. Six rebounds along to go with it. Dan Trist, congratulations on being our Coca-Cola player of the game. Thank you very much. All right, Gary and John, let's bring it back to you guys. All right, Dan, thank you very much, and it's time for our highlights as John Leon will take us through the second half as the Leopard lose by four. Even though Lafayette comes out on the short end, Gary, it was a fun game to watch. I mean, these are two well-coached teams, a lot of talent. Nick Lidner doing his best to hold up his end of the bargain in terms of his offense. Here's a little step back after he hits a game-opening three, and then he shows you how many different ways he can score by getting to the rim right away. But, you know, Gary, this was the big issue for Lafayette all afternoon long. Justin Goldsboro, Jesse Chuku, and Tim Kempton just dominated around the glass. And, again, look at the up-and-under move by Goldsboro. He he was a force all game long and watch a little drop step and he finishes with the left hand. In the second half, Austin Price kind of took over. Number five, he's only a sophomore. At 6'4", he's got the ability to knock down jump shots and the guard skills to take it hard to the rack himself. And Austin Price had a huge second half, a big three there. Every time Lafayette crept close, it seemed like Lehigh would come back with a big three. Monty Boykins off the dribble drive from Nick Lidner, knocks down the three. And look at the hustle from Zach Rufer. This was the kind of game it was, Gary. There was any one play could have tilted the balance one way or the other. Nick Lidner continued to penetrate and get to the rim, keeping Lafayette close. This was huge. Lafayette up two at the time. Shot clock running down. It looked like Lafayette was going to force the turnover and have a chance to tie this game. That three by Kempton pushes the lead back to five, and Lafayette was chasing from there on in. Yes, indeed, John. That big three was really a critical critical shot in the ball game for Lehigh there's 75 points on 26 field goals they were 8 for 14 from beyond the arc but the number that really stands out they were a perfect 15 for 15 from the foul line five players in double figures Kempton with 11 and 10 rebounds a double double Goldsboro with 12 Ross with 10 Price with 16 and Brandon Austin with 10 Lehigh goes to 10 and 9 4 and 4 now in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, there's 71 points on 22 field goals. They were 6 for 19 from beyond the arc, 21 for 23 from the free throw line. 
Tris with 20, Lindner with 19, and Hendricks with 17. The Leopards fall to 11 and 8 as they now are 3 and 5 in the Patriot League. As up next will be Colgate, and that ball game will be a big one as Lafayette will take on the Raiders, currently tied for first place with Bucknell. Final score here this afternoon, Lehigh 75, Lafayette 71. For Dan Mowdy, John Leone, the RCN television team, headed up by Rick Gio. We thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.